Hello guys, welcome back to Race Gaming and Tech Productions. And today I'm gonna to give you be giving you guys some more of my tips and tricks for GeForce Now. So I wanted to do this video again because one of my most famous videos on my channel, which is named uh, My Tips and Tricks for GeForce Now, got 25k views, which was what a few months ago when I made it. But I wanted to make it again to see if we could do that again. So I'll be giving you guys four tips and tricks on just ways to improve performance possibly fix your latency or um speed up the time you have to uh, wait so i do have some bad news and i'm gonna need your help so take a look at the screen and i know you guys see it it says that my average views on every video has gone down by 30 percent i'm gonna need you guys help i'm gonna need you guys to watch more of my videos and possibly subscribe if you're not going to subscribe, at least watch my videos. So I'm not. I don't want to ask for too much, but you guys see it right there. That is not good at all, and I really want to fix that. So I would really appreciate it if you guys watch my videos, and I I'm I'll go back to um my tech videos instead of doing so much gaming because that that might be the main factor of why I'm not getting much views. So. I, that that's the main reason why I made this video was because I literally I wanted to go back um like just back in time to where I used to only do tech videos and I'm going to be doing a lot more of these so if you guys end up enjoying this video please subscribe and turn on notifications and make a lot of good videos like this and also if you want to want me to make another part for the uh, best tips and tricks for GeForce Now please go ahead and get me to 10 likes on this video and I will do that so thank you guys for watching and I'll score to get into it. Okay guys, so the first one is make sure that you are on the right server. So I switched it to you guys basically on every tips and trick video and that's because that's like it's really important if you're not on the right server then everything will mess up so go ahead and go to well if you're on windows 10 which that's what i'm on right now uh, and i might make a like a a v2 for a chromebook i'll make like a second video just for chromebooks because i know most of these things that are going to be in this video is not possible on chromebook but if you guys want that, go ahead and get this video to, what, five likes. That's all I really want. And if we do, I'll make a V2 uh, for, what, is this part four? And it'll, like, it won't, I think it'll be either tomorrow or sometime today. I might do a double upload. But, yeah, so I'm going to just, I'll make a, a version of this video on the Chromebook. But go ahead and go to settings. So you guys see, I am currently using the GeForce Now for Windows 10. And if you guys didn't know, um, I'm finally able to use GeForce Now mainly because of my new graphics card. I'm not going to get into that. But if you guys want to know about the graphics card I got, go ahead and go in the description. It'll be right down there for you. So you guys see, I'm on auto. That is the best one to be on. And the reason why I say that is because basically GeForce Now picks a server for you that basically has the best bandwidth it has the best connection so that um i don't know if they have like towers around here where they can connect or little small bases for certain servers but yeah so you guys see for my server is us south and they have different ones and if your auto is us south and you want to um skip the, a little bit of the waiting time i say us west 2 and north and us northwest are are uh, the next best but you will risk um, getting latency and a lot of connection problems. So other than that, that's really it. I just wanted to clarify that in the beginning so that um, you guys will know that that's the main factor of why you might be getting connection problems and or latency. So now let's go ahead and get on to the next one. Okay, so the next one is turn off startup apps that are not needed at the time. So basically, if you guys don't know, Windows 10 has certain apps that I have settings inside or just Windows 10 chooses to make them start as soon as you turn on your PC. And most of the time, that's not what you want. And sometimes the the app that you have like Discord does it by itself. Um, Steam does it by itself. And you sometimes might have to just turn them off. So I'm going to go ahead and show you guys how to do that. So go to your search and then go 
startup apps. Now, this is one of the things that won't like be a problem on Chromebook because Chromebook doesn't have startup apps. Apps don't get started by themselves. So you guys see there is a better way to get to this, but I'm oh yeah, changing startup apps. No, 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 I did not mean to press that. I'll be back. Okay, so you guys see it. These are all the startup apps. And they're not showing many. Like, let me see. Let me see if I can find one. So you guys see that turned off Steam Client Bootstrapper. Um, so the other ones would probably be I've turned off most of them, but like um I'll keep on my systems care. Adobe GC Invoker Utility, I'll turn that off. Now see most of these are like um, not or no impact or media impact and some of these you might not want to mess with because it could really like mess up your PC so I'm not going to end off the um, this part of the video just yet because I want to find the actual startup apps place okay so I forgot that you actually just have to go into task manager and do it but we're not going to do, do processes right now which if you go into processes you can see which things are taking up the most uh, of your CPU and since I'm recording right now the OBS studio is doing just that and so if you go to startup and you will see everything that starts up as soon as you turn on your PC now I'm not I don't have many things that start up by themselves and none of them are really like heavily measured or not measured but like um, don't have a, a heavy impact on your PC so you guys see if you download a lot of apps you might see some highs and meet and a lot of mediums but if you're like me and you don't download too many um, apps or games which I don't know if you want to call that um, too many apps or games but if you don't then you probably won't have this problem but by what you can see here most of these aren't uh, don't have a um a large impact so other than that just make sure that you turn off a few like high impact or just apps that you don't need at the time make sure to not turn off things like um well yeah the intel if you use intel then you'll see this i advise you guys not to turn this off because it could cause a little bit of problems so now let's go to move on to the next one okay guys so the next one is set geforce now to high priority so if you guys don't know what that is basically if you set any app to high priority basically your pc will focus more on that app rather than other apps all at the same time so it will focus on other apps too just not as much as it's focusing on the designated app that you set to like high priority medium or whatever so i'm gonna show you guys how to do that so go ahead and go ahead and task manager if you don't know how to do that just go down here to start go ahead and right click and then press task manager so once you press that you'll come to a screen like this and for a minute i did have a problem because i did not know that all you have to do is just Go like this and then you just don't don't worry about this just go like this and then go to go to details so if you just uh, right right yeah right click on one of these apps and you go to go to details it will bring you to this screen now now that I, uh, I just noticed all you have to do is go to details I didn't see that before but no nope, that doesn't matter we're here now so find the app that you want to turn to high priority and just right click and then set priority so now what you want to do is go to real time or high i advise you go to the high because i'm not sure what real time does so i'm going to go to so just go ahead and go to high and if you change the priority it could cause system instability so that's you can do that i don't really use geforce now like that so i'm not going to turn into that but just know that that's one of the things that you can do to fix um like latency or anything like that so now go ahead see you guys see all of them you can turn all of these to high priority if you want to just to ensure that it is at its full performance so it's playing as as good as it can and that's pretty much it for this one and i know this video uh, doesn't have like any like big um methods to fix latency or just uh, some big trick and uh, tips but I'm sorry for that 
I'm starting to run out of things. I actually like there was just a whole day I was just like sitting on my computer and I was just thinking of things to you know help you uh that things that can really help you. So other than that, I'm gonna go ahead and move on to the last one. Okay, guys. So the last one is change streaming quality to data saver. So basically, if you take change it to data serve, saver, then it will save basically yeah save your data. And unlike all of the other ones, which I'll show you guys right now, I'm going to settings, and then you guys will see balance, data saver, and com and competitive. Now, if you're playing competitive, of course you go on competitive. If you're just playing normally and you don't really care about the lag, which I don't get, I don't know why you would not care about the lag. You go ahead and go on balanced but if you go ahead and go to data saver you guys can see it says data saver minimizes the amount of data used while playing while still delivering good image quality and gameplay so now go ahead and go to details and this is where it kind of gets crazy so what you want to do is you want to oh actually you got to go to custom and you want to turn it to the lowest quality or yeah, lowest quality because you have the best speed. Now, if you're having like display problems where when you get inside of the game, it's either really stretched or like really small, you can change it back to your regular one. But if you change it to 1024, 768, then um, all you gotta do is just change, uh, bring us all the way up to 50. Once you do that, you gotta see game play will use approximately 15 gigabytes per hour. Actual data use will vary. So you can do this if you want to. If you want some um, pretty good quality, then do that. But if you want to keep it this way, it, it's probably a lot better. But if you if you're here for really good quality, fifty is probably where you it should go. Now, if you're using a network adapter that doesn't support two gigahertz, then I advise you to stick at um, twelve. If you do have five gigahertz, go up to fifty because um, if you don't have two, basically if, I, if you didn't know, five gigahertz is better than two gigahertz. It's a lot faster, and you can do a lot more things with it. And I'm actually gonna get a new network adapter so I can play um, games without having to worry about like latency and uh, connection problems, especially on Rocket League. I play a lot of Rocket League. So other than that, I'm that's pretty much it. You guys see the server locations, startup apps, um, and, the, and the data saver. But other than that, there was pretty much not any more. If you guys have any that you guys want me to put in the video, I will definitely um, shout you out in that the next video. If there's even another video, which you need to get to 10 likes on this video, and I will do another one of these. And if you guys have any tips or tricks that you want me guys that you guys want me to put in my next video, if there's one, then go ahead and tell me that in the comments, and I will shout you out in the video, and then tell um, everybody what tip you gave me or what tip you wanted me to um, display to them and then i'll show you guys how to do it but other than that let's go to get into the outro thank you guys for watching if you guys enjoyed this video please subscribe and turn on notifications i make a lot of good videos like this and also if you guys want to see a a what part five on this for this series Go ahead and get this video to 10 likes and i will make a part five i'm not i, I think this might be part four three or four so just if you guys want to see another video like this if you guys want to see some more of my tips and tricks which it will take a long time or just it'll take it'll take about a day just like it did with this video for me to think of uh, some and like i said before i went into my outro i said that if you guys have any tips that you guys want me to display to other people go ahead and tell me that in the comment i will shout you out and i will tell everybody what that tip is and show them how to do it so thank you guys for watching, and I will see you guys in the next video.